Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to take a look at the new Innistrad Crimson Vale Commander deck, Spirit Squadron. So here we have Millicent Restless Revenant is the commander, and Believe in Ghosts. Okay then, we've got a 100 card deck with 15 new cards, deck box, 10 double-sided tokens, life will strategy insert, and reference card. Alright, so let's get into it. We've got the pull tab on the bottom. Ripping it open. Let's see what we get here. So per usual, we have this insert with the uh, card image printed on there. Some little tokens we can use. Counters. And that is awesome. So a nice deck box. I'm thinking this would hold a fully sleeved commander deck here. You can see there's plenty of room. All right, we'll take a look at the life wheel here. So 20 on that side, and we're going up to 40 on the other side, which should be useful for most decks. Although if you've got a life gain deck, you might want to uh, use another method. Okay, so here we have some info about playing the deck. So we're going to have a lot of flyers in this one. Commander rules, if you're new to the game, some awesome artwork. And Millicent Restless Revenant. That is cool. So there's some lore for you. So this is a blue-white deck, also known as Azorius. And let's get stuck into it. These are going for about... 32 35 bucks US So you may get them cheaper But that's about the price. So let's check out the deck here So I like to sort out the lands get those out of the way Here we go. So we've got our Lands and we do have our uh, display commander, so it's on some thicker card stock. So this is the Millicent here. So that replaces the oversized cards they used to do. Alright, so let's cut the deck here about there and check it out. So starting off here, we have our commander Millicent Restless Revenant. It's a mythic legendary creature spirit soldier, 4-4 four, four for 7. This spell costs one less to cast for each spirit you control, has flying, and whenever Millicent or another non-token spirit you control dies or deals combat damage to a player, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Okay, so we're going to be creating tons of those. Donal Herald, Herald of Wings, legendary creature, human wizard, another mythic. 3-3 three, three for 4, whenever you cast a non-legendary creature spell with flying, you may copy it, except the copy is a 1-1 one, one spirit in addition to its other types. Do this only once each turn. And the copy becomes a token. Okay, so another commander there we could use. Crush Contraband, instant for 4. Choose one or both Exile Target Artifact or Exile Target Enchantment. Custody Squire, Creature Spirit Cleric, 3-3 three, three for 5 with Flying. Has Will of the Council and Custody Squire enters the battlefield. Starting with you, each player votes for an artifact creature or enchantment card in your graveyard. Return each card with the most votes or tied for the most votes to your hand. Sounds like a fun mechanic. Dark Steel Mutation, enchantment aura for two enchant creature. The enchanted creature is an insect artifact creature with base power and toughness 0-1 and has indestructible and it loses all other abilities, card types and creature types. Infinitely powerless. Okay then. Field of Souls, Enchantment for 4, whenever a non-token creature is put into your graveyard from battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Okay, so again, creating more tokens, Ghostly Prison, Enchantment for 3, creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays 2 for each creature they control that's attacking you. So that's the fun one. Do you pay the 2? And I'm sure that will annoy your opponent. Spectral Shepherd Creature Spirit 2-2-3 two, two, with flying 1 and a blue. Return target spirit you control to its owner's hand. We got Swords to Plowshares. Is that some new artwork? That looks awesome. Instant for a single white. Exile target creature. Its control gains life equal to its power. Arcane Denial. Instant for two. Counter target spell. Its controller may draw up to two cards. 
at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. You draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. So we do have a bit of card draw and control strategies here. Distant Melody, Sorcery for four. Choose a creature type. Draw a card for each permanent you control of that type. Nebulgast Herald, Creature Spirit, 2-1 for three. Flash and Flying. Whenever it or another spirit enters battlefield under your control, tap target creature and opponent controls. We've got the Reconnaissance Mission, Enchantment for four. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. You can cycle it for two. Ooh, that's cool. Sire of the Storm, Creature Spirit, 3-3 three, three for six with flying. Whenever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, you may draw a card. Okay, so really cranking up the card draw engine. Spectral Sailor. Creature Spirit Pirate, 1-1 one, one for a single blue, flash and flying, 3 and a blue, draw a card. So we've got some more card draw. Drog Skull, Captain, Creature Spirit Soldier, 2-2 two, two for 3 with flying, other spirit creatures you control get, plus 1, plus 1, and have Hexproof. That is awesome. Arcane Signet, you'll see this quite a bit in Commander decks. Artifact for 2, tap to add 1 mana of any colour in your Commander's colour identity. We've got the Azorius Locket. Artifact for three, tap to add white or blue, and you can add any combination, or you pay any combination here for white or blue. Tap to, uh, and sack it, you get to draw two cards. Azorius Signet, artifact for two, pay one, tap, add white and blue. Commander's Sphere, here's another common one. Artifact for three, tap to add one manner of any color in your commander's color identity, and if you sack it, you get to draw a card. Marble Diamond Artifact for two, enters battlefield, tap, tap for white. Sky Diamond Artifact for two, tap for blue, enters tapped. Just like the last one. Soul Ring! I was wondering when we'd come across this. Artifact for one, tap to add two colors mana. That's pretty much, uh, Commander's a format of Soul Ring plus 99 cards, I reckon. Azorius Chancery, land, enters battlefield, tap. When it enters battlefield, return land you control to its owner's hand, tap for white and blue. We've got the Command Tower. Tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity, Myriad Landscape. So we've seen several of these in the other deck as well. Enters Battlefield tapped. Tap for white for two. Tap sack it. Search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type. Put them onto Battlefield tapped. Then shuffle. And the Field... Oh, not Field of Ancestry. Path of Ancestry. Enters tapped. Tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. And when that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that... Shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. So we're going to want to cast like spirits or soldiers. Temple of the False God, this was in the other one as well. Tap to add two colors, activate only if you control five or more lands. Unclaimed territory, this one as well. Enters battlefield, choose a creature type. Tap for colorless and tap to add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type. And then we have a random planes in the middle. Okay then, not sure what's up with that. Rhoda, Geist, Avenger, legendary creature, human soldier, 3-3 three, three for 4, partners with Timon, youthful Geist. So when this creature enters the battlefield, target player may put Timon into their hand from their library, then shuffle, has vigilance, and whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Rhoda, Geist, Avenger. And there he is, Timon, Youthful Geist, Sledgering Creature Spirit, 3, 4, for 5. Partners with Rhoda, Geist, Avenger, has flying at the beginning of each combat, tap up to one target creature. And Drog Skull, Reinforcements, Creature Spirit, Soldier, 2, 2, for 4, with melee. So whenever this creature attacks, it gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. For each opponent, you attack this combat, and other spirits you control have melee. Prevent all non-combat damage that will be dealt to spirits you control. That's pretty powerful ability, actually. Haunted Library, Enchantment for two. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you may pay one. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. And Priest of the Blessed Graph, creature, human cleric, 1-2 for three. At the beginning of your end step, create X, 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying, where X is the number of opponents who control more lands than you. Okay, so there's roughly the first half of the deck. Let's take a look at the rest here. We have Storm of Souls. Sorcery for six. Return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Each of them is a 1-1 spirit with flying in addition to its other types. Exile, Storm of Souls. And Sudden Salvation. 
instant for four. Choose up to three target permanent cards and graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Return them to the battlefield tapped under their owner's control. You draw a card for each opponent who controls one or more of those permanents. Breath of the Sleepless Enchantment for four. You may cast spirit spells as though they had flash. Ah, that's pretty handy. Whenever you cast a creature spell during an opponent's turn, tap up to one target creature. And Ethereal Investigator, he's pretty creepy looking, creature spirit, 2, 3, for 4, with flying. When Ethereal Investigator enters the battlefield, investigate X times, where X is the number of opponents you have. To investigate, create a colorless clue artifact token with pay 2, select this artifact, draw a card, and whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Okay, so again, cranking out the spirits. Haunting Imitation, sorcery for 3 each player. Reveals the top card of their library for each creature card revealed this way. Create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's 1-1, one, one, it's the spirit in addition to its other types, and it has flying, and if no creature cards were revealed this way, return haunting imitation to its owner's hand. Occult Epiphany, instant for X and blue. Draw X cards, then discard X cards. Create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying for each card type among cards discarded this way. Spectral Arcanist, Creature Spirit Wizard, 3 2 4 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may cast an instant or sorcery spell with mana value less than or equal to the number of spirits you control from a graveyard without paying its mana cost. That's pretty cool. If that spell would be put into a graveyard, exile it instead. Disorder in the court, some fun artwork there. Instant for X, white and blue. Exile X target creatures, then investigate X times. Return the XL cards to the battlefield tapped under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, so we've got the investigating again. Okay, Angel of Flight, Alabaster. Creature Angel 4-4 four, four, for 5 with flying at the beginning of your upkeep. Return target spirit card from your graveyard to your hand. Benevolent Offering Instant for 4. Choose an opponent. You and that player each create 3 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Choose an opponent. You gain 2 life for each creature you control. And that player gains 2 life for each creature they control. Okay, so that's that's pretty beneficial to your opponent as well, I guess. Boreas Charger. Creature Pegasus 2-1 for 3 with flying. When it leaves the battlefield, choose an opponent who controls more lands than you. Search a library for a number of planes cards. Equal to the difference with all those cards... Put one of them onto the battlefield, tapped and rest into your hand, then shuffle. And Bygone Bishop, Creature Spirit Cleric 2 3 for 3 with flying. Whenever you cast a creature spell with mana value 3 or less, investigate. We've got the Custody Soul Binders, Creature Human Cleric 0 0 for 4. Uh, enters the battlefield with X, plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, where X is a number of other creatures on the battlefield. And for 2 and Y, remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from it. Create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Fell the mighty. Sorcery for 5. Destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures power. Hallowed spirit keeper. Creature avatar 3-2 three, for 3. Vigilance. When it dies, create X. 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. So it's pretty much like a white humans deck. But you've got all the creatures have flying and you can pump them up. And so forth. We've got a Hanged Executioner Creature Spirit 1-1 one, one for 3 with flying when it enters the battlefield. Create a 1-1 one, one White Spirit Creature Token with flying and for 3 and a white. Exile it. Exile target creature. Karmic Guide Creature Angel Spirit 2-2 two, two for 5. Flying and protection from black and it has this echo 3 and 2 white. So that means at the beginning of your upkeep if this came under your control since the beginning of your last upkeep sacrifice it. Unless you pay its echo cost. Then when it enters the battlefield, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, Kurtar's Wrath. Sorcery for 6. Destroy all creatures. They can't be regenerated and it has threshold. If 7 or more cards are in your graveyard instead, destroy all creatures. Then create 2 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Creatures destroyed this way can't be regenerated. Knight of the White Orchid, I think that's pretty good actually. Creature Human Knight, 2-2 two, two for 2 with First Strike. When it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, you may search your library for a Plains card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Mentor of the Meat, Creature Human Soldier, 2-2 two, two for 3. Whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay 1 if you do, draw a card. 
Mirror Entity. I love the artwork on this. It's weird. Creature Shapeshifter 1-1 one, one for 3 has Changeling. This card is every creature type. And for X until end of turn, creatures you control have base power and toughness X. X and gain all creature types. Okay, so power and toughness are X. Oyobi who split the heavens. Legendary creature spirit. 3-6 for 7 with flying. Whenever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, create a 3-3 three, three white spirit creature token with flying. That sounds like something out of uh, Kamigawa, actually. Promise of Bunrai. Enchantment for 3. When a creature you control dies, sacrifice promise of Bunrai. If you do, create 4 1-1 one, one color spirit creature tokens. Remorseful cleric creature spirit cleric. 2-1 uh, two, for 2 with flying. If you sack it, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Twilight Drover, Creature Spirit, 1-1 one, one for 3. Whenever a creature token leaves battlefield, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Twilight Drover. And for 2 and white, remove a plus 1, plus 1 counter from it. You get to create 2 1-1 one, one White Spirit Creature Tokens with Flying. We're creating tons and tons of those with this deck. Windborn Muse, Creature Spirit, 2-3 for 4 with Flying. Creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays 2 for each creature they control that's attacking you. We saw that on one other card here as well, I think. Flood of Tears, Sorcery for 6, return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. If you return 4 or more non-token permanents you control this way, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Ghostly Pilferer, Creature Spirit Rogue, 2-1 two, for 2. Whenever Ghostly Pilferer becomes untapped, you may pay 2 if you do, draw a card, and whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, draw a card, and if you discard a card, Ghostly Pilferer can't be blocked this turn. Imprisoned in the Moon. Here's a bit of lore for you from Innistrad. Enchant my aura for three. Enchant creature land or planeswalker. The enchanted permanent is a colorless land with tap to add colorless mana and loses all card types and abilities. Only one vault was great enough to hold Emrakul. So there is the lore for you. Kami of the Crescent Moon, Legendary Creature Spirit, 1-3 for 2. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. I'm pretty sure that one is uh, Kamigawa, actually. Midnight Clock, Artifact for 3. Tap to add blue for 2 and blue. Put an hour counter on Midnight Clock. And at the beginning of each upkeep, put an hour counter on Midnight Clock. When your 12th hour counter is put on Midnight Clock, shuffle your hand and graveyard into your library. Then draw 7 cards. Exile Midnight Clock. Rattle Chains, Creature Spirit, 2-1 two, for 2, Flash and Flying, when it enters battlefield, target Spirit gains Hexproof until end of turn, you may cast Spirit Spells as though they had Flash, so again, we saw that on uh, one of the other cards, Shackle Geist, Creature Spirit, 2-2 two, two for 2, with Flying, you can block only creatures with Flying and tap to untap Spirits you control, you get to tap target creature you don't control. Supreme Phantom, Creature Spirit, 1-3 for 2, Flying, Other Spirits you control, get plus 1, plus 1, that is awesome. Verity Circle, Enchantment for 3, whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card, and for 4 and a blue, tap target creature without flying. Ooh, Dovin, good to see you, he's a mythic. Dovin, Grand Arbiter, Legendary Planeswalker Dovin, 3 loyalty for 3, his plus 1 until end of turn. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a loyalty counter on Dovin Grand Arbiter. And minus one, create a 1-1 one, one color stop the artifact creature token with flying, you gain one life, here's minus seven. Look at the top ten cards of your library, put three of them into your hand and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And another mythic, and this one used to be uh, way up there, I think it's a bit cheaper these days. Geist of St. Traft. A dream creature, spirit, cleric, 2-2 two, two for 3, hexproof. Whenever Geist of St. Traft attacks, create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying that's tapped and attacking, exile that token at end of combat. Awesome. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the lands. We have a bunch of basic and non-basic lands here. Starting off with Exotic Orchard, tapped to add one mana of any colour that a land an opponent controls could produce. Moorland Haunt. Haunt, tap for colours, for white and blue, tap, exile the creature card from your graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Port Town, so as it enters battlefield, you may reveal a plains or island card from your hand. If you don't, it enters tapped, tap it for white or blue. So another one here, white or blue, enters tapped, unless you control two or more basic lands, the Prairie Stream. 
Sky Cloud Expanse, Pay One Tap, Add White and Blue. Temple of Enlightenment enters tapped when it enters the battlefield. Sky One Tap for White or Blue. And then the planes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those, I think, because we're counting the one we saw earlier. And then the islands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of those. Okay, about even. And we have an angel token here, 4-4 four, four, with flying, flipping around. What have we got on the other side? A clue token, pay two, sack it, draw a card. Okay, a spirit, 1-1. One, one. And a copy token, represents a copy of something else. A 1-1 one, one spirit, copy. And we'll probably get a couple of those actually. Spirit, oh, what's this? Something different. A 1-1 one, one spirit. So, okay, one is a 1-1 one, one spirit without flying, and one has flying. Okay, and same thing there. Yeah, so we get a bunch of those, because we're going to be cranking tons of those out. Here's a 3-3 three, three spirit with flying. And on the other side, a Thopter, so that's what Dovin was cranking out. So a 1-1 one, one with flying spirit and Thopter, and finally parts of your turn. Here are popular magic formats. What is your favorite format? And what do you think of this deck? It actually looks pretty good if you're used to the uh, human style decks or control strategies. Let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Stay tuned, we've got a bunch of Crimson Vow stuff coming up still. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.